Hey, what is going on guys? So I'm doing a bit of a, a redo of a video I made a while back um, because I noticed that it's been getting a little bit of uh, attention recently and uh, I feel like I definitely could have explained um, a lot better in that video. I feel like I could have done a lot better, give a better example of how I went about it. So the problem here is that we are trying to fix is when games crash and freeze on your screen and remove all ability to control your computer really. So in, in that scenario you'd be forced to restart your computer and that's obviously very frustrating and no one wants to deal with that. So this is the, the workaround to actually closing the frozen application instead of restarting your entire computer. Cause normally like you won't be able to close the application any by any normal way the like your first uh what you're the first thing you're going to do when a game freezes you're going to try an alt tab odds are this won't work because when you alt tab the game will still be stuck on your screen and you will still not be able to do anything um the second option would probably be like alt f4 doesn't doesn't work very often if it does, it's a, almost a rare occasion that actually works. And then uh, your third option would try to be Open Task Manager. But when you open Task Manager, you still can't see anything. You can't control Task Manager. So um, what we're going to do is be able to just regain control of the computer and... Um, close the application. So, now, I'm aware Mortal Kombat isn't actually frozen, but um, the execute of the, the process will be the same. It being, it doesn't need to be frozen to e explain it the way I'm going to explain it. Alright, so in my first video, all I really said was to press Windows key and tab and it would bring you to uh, an option but as you can see it's not working that's because some applications do not allow or just don't uh, just don't allow this the, this function it doesn't do anything as you can see I'm still in Mortal Kombat not doing not doing me any good however in this situation what we have to do now is we have to alt tab now, if Mortal Kombat was actually frozen, it wouldn't alt tab me to a different window. It will it will uh, it'll still be in my face. I can still see Mortal Kombat in my face. So for we're going to use Google as an example. We're going to play pretend and say Google is still Mortal Kombat. What we just saw before, Google is Mortal Kombat and it's still stuck on my screen. And this is what we'll see when we alt tab. We won't we'll still be looking at the game. However, because we alt tab to a different window, Windows detects that we are on that window. It doesn't think we're on Mortal Kombat anymore. So, now that Windows detects that we're on a different window, we can actually do the Windows key and tab function. And from this point, now we can uh, go to New Desktop. And when we go to New Desktop, it creates a fresh desktop clear of anything obscuring our vision of your desktop so now that you are finally here you can hit control shift escape and this pulls up task manager now before if we t pulled up task manager in the first um, desktop window you wouldn't be able to control it you won't be able to do this so make sure um, you don't open task manager when you're in desktop one make sure you wait and go to desktop two then open it all right now what we're going to do is very simple is we're going to end it we're going to end the task we're going to we'll end google too all right so we've closed out Mortal Kombat and now if we go to desktop one it's closed it's not here anymore 
And hopefully at that point, it will be all resolved, and you will just have to either relaunch the game or just go doing about what else you planned on doing. Now, uh, example, um, if you do open Task Manager on the Desktop 1 or whatever, after you Alt-Tab for the first time, you should be able to see at least something like this. Okay? Um, it, like, Mortal Kombat would still be obscuring your screen, but you'll still be able to see the, these, these windows, the windows you have open, and you can tab to them, but if you let go, it doesn't normally stay up like that, or pop up like that, you'll still see Mortal Kombat stuck in your face. So in the scenario that um, Task Manager, you did open Task Manager up uh, before you went to Desktop 2, is what you do in this situation is either hover your mouse over the X and close it out that way, or oops, you um, hover over it and hit delete and then that should close task manager and then you can hit the windows key and tab make a new desktop go to that desktop and open up task manager and then resolve the issue all right that should clear up everything um, i hope it helps out everybody and resolve this issue and you'll just be able to do this every single time a game crashes on you and you won't have to restart your computer and you can just keep going about what you're doing. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Again, I really hope this helped out for you. And if you want, it would be very good to share this video to everybody you know who plays video games and may not know this because it just, it's not very well known actually. Not a lot of people know about this. And I feel the more people who do know about this will have uh, a lot less problems. Now, just to be clear, that I don't know any other way to do this on um, any other operating systems, so like uh, the Mac OS's or whatever they're using, or Linux or anything like that, I just, I don't know how those work, I don't use those, you, the, this method can only be done in Windows. I'm sure those operating systems have some form of way to uh, fix crash games but I just do not know them and I really won't be able to help you out with that but most people do run Windows and I hope this helps you guys out alright thanks again for watching see ya